Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. This is a little bit later than I usually put out a video, but um, the reason for it is I was trying to finish this head. This is the head you guys requested the most, and I finally got a chance to finish it. And this is the Profiler Small Block Chevy 195 head I finished porting. Um, if, you, if you've been paying attention to my channel and you've been watching in the past, I actually used this head to compare a Profiler 195 versus an AFR 195. It was this head. So I have the beginning flow numbers on this head, and of course I have them after they're all ported like they are now. And I'm going to go over what's been changed on it, and so you can kind of see uh, what all has been done. So, um, this customer is super cool. He's got, had a lot of a patience because we've been waiting a long time for this one. But um, let me, he wanted to order my head and for my website, which is wengines.com. I have a head on there, the Profiler 213. And I used to sell quite a bit of these, um, but for whatever reason, I haven't been selling as many in the last probably five years. People, probably because people keep going to bigger engines, and the size of this head isn't as popular as what it used to be. Um, anyway, still a great head. It just, I don't sell as many, probably because I think people are just going to a much larger cubic inch engine or not as many RPMs. So anyway, this head is, um, it started off as a Profiler 195. It is no longer that. Once you port it, and of course the size grows. I haven't CC'd this one, but from the measurements, it should be around 213 to 215 cc's. I know this because I keep records on the heads I've done before in the past that I have CC'd, and there those measurements are the same as what this is. So uh, this one is slightly better than the one I have advertised on my website because as time goes by, the valve job that I've done uh, on this has evolved. So it's changed and gotten a little bit better. So let's go ahead and talk more about it. Okay, it started off with a, I think it was a 202 or 205, I can't remember. It's currently a 208, 1600. 45 degree valve job in both intake and exhaust. Good street one. Um, it is my more aggressive 45 degree valve job. Um, it's actually one of the most aggressive ones that I have. However, the throat's not that big. I left the throat at 90%. On the intake, the bowl is much bigger at about 101%. It's a little bit larger. It's definitely grown compared to what it is. This is the straight plug one, by the way. Um, the head works really well. You can see from the short side on it. Nice look there. And the head's still pretty tiny. The camera's having a hard time focusing. But it's a really nice looking head. Shadows kind of manipulate it, but good, good head. The intake opening, when you get it, it's about a 12.05. I've opened it up to a 12.06. And this is me being critique of myself. The one thing I'm not very happy about with what I've done is the dividers here. Some people like to run these super thin, and that always bothers me because you are going to bolt a manifold to this. Everybody is if you have these. And if you've got them super thin, you're going to cut your gasket next to nothing and hope that it holds it in between. And then it doesn't get blown out, and I don't like that. So these are about as thick as I want to go, or thin as I want to go. The catch is it's not very, it doesn't line up perfectly like it should. Because the, I, the one thing about profilers, they don't have any CNC work as far as the um, gasket match, like the profilers do from the factory, or sorry, I brought it from the factory. So because of that, the casting has like where it's moved over here and here sometimes, and it's not straight up and down here. So you try to line up as best you can without moving it to where it's so thin. So anyway, to me, it's good, it's just not perfect. Um, that's a critique of myself more than um, profiler. I can't make it as good as I could because the casting itself is not, you gotta have material there to work with. Anyway, it's now a 1206 opening. The push rod pinch um, went from like, if you remember from the videos, I think it was a 2.3, it's now a 2.46. So um, a little bit more cross-sectional area. And it does have a sleeve which you can barely see in there. If you look way down in there, you can see the brass sleeve is sticking through. But if you looked at my Dragon Slayers, it's noticeable. This is barely poked through, but I did want to make it larger there. And that's what you got. The exhaust wasn't changed anything dramatically at all. It's still that, the D port. I didn't really, besides the casting itself was a little off there, so just making the shape better there. The exits are the same size. Now the bowl work did get changed a little bit. The throat got altered a little bit. Some, some small differences in that area, but that gives kind of gives you an idea of what it is. Now, 
The real thing is you wanted to see is, well, what did it do on the flow bench? Did it pick up anything? Well, let's look. And I'm gonna start off by saying this, even though I say it's a Profiler 195, it's truthfully now a 213 to 215 cc head. So it wouldn't be fair to compare it against another Profiler or another head that's 195 cc range because that's not what this is anymore. However, let's look at what we got. Now, I should also point out when it was first flowed, it was flowed on a 430 board. This is actually going on a 421, which is a larger cubic inch engine, but this is what he wanted to go on. But because of that, that's a 4155 bore, so I floated on a 4155 bore. Here's the numbers. Okay, the ones you know I care about the most are four, six, and one. So if I look at 400, it's 246, which isn't bad. It's not bad. It's not as good as say some of my dragon centers, but not not that not terrible. Pretty good. If I look at six for this size of head, that's really good. 306. That's pretty good. And the peak was at 318. Now if you notice here, some of you probably did. It went 317. 314, 317, 318. So it's making that little dip, which I don't honestly have an, an answer for why it's doing that. Because I'm going to show you the Superflow numbers, and the Superflow numbers carry the whole way. It's something with, I think, the Sanya's bench, and that's my guess. Either that, and I think it's more responsive to small changes. So if things are slightly off, it picks it up. I, I, I don't have a good answer for it. And like, what was the air speeds over the short side? I didn't measure them. And you're like, why didn't you? Well, because I went by size. So when I sized the port and everything, that's the way I wanted it. So whatever airspeed it had, that's what it had. Granted, I could make it larger and maybe it would keep flowing more and keep going up and wouldn't have this little dip here. But then the port itself grows and kind of loses the point. Then you're chasing a flow number, not really necessarily horsepower. The exhaust, as you could tell, is pretty good too. If I look at four, it's 171. By the way, this is without an exhaust pipe. 171. 190, almost 200 to six, and about 237 at peak, which is not bad. I mean, it's pretty good. The thing I will say is you're like, well, that's not near what your Dragon Slayers do. Why is that? Here's why. The Dragon Slayers, their exhaust ports raised up a little bit more. So because of that, the short side itself is taller. So that changes things. Also, uh, there's some glaring differences. On the Dragon Slayer, the port itself starts off smaller and I don't really like to grind this wall, but it's already over so much on um, the profiler as cast. So I'm not trying to make this side bigger, but it's automatically bigger than my port profile, my dragon slayers. And the reason for that is I don't like it is because remember the intake valves on the other side here. So if I make the bowl bigger on the intake, it's going to start getting into closer, not have enough material between the exhaust. So I don't like moving that side. I do that one, but this one's already started off big. Now I should point out, it's not really an issue with this head because, because it's a street head, the bowl's smaller, so I don't have to worry about the intake getting so being so big where it gets close to the exhaust. But I'm just saying, this port's different than, even though it's a D port, it's not the same as the Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer is raised up higher, this wall's scooted over. Um, it flows more, especially down low and at peak. Although there's nothing wrong with this. This is more than enough exhaust flow for what this thing's gonna do. Now, as cool as those numbers looked, let me show you the super flow because this is what I mean about that dip. You're not gonna see it. Remember, 318. Same bore. By the way, all I did, take the, I flowed the head, left it exactly alone, did my undid my bolt, moved all my stuff over to the super flow and flowed it. Didn't change a thing. So that's what the super flow numbers are. Bam, Superflow makes me feel good about myself. You have 254 now at four. Six is 313 and peak is 329. And look at this, it doesn't drop. 313, 320, 323, 328, 329. It never has that dip that you get on the Sanyas. And the only thing it is, I took it off. Same bore fixture, same bore plate, everything. Same um, clay entry, it didn't change the same valves, everything. It just flows better on the super flow and it doesn't have that dip probably because this one takes so long to respond the exhaust flow is down a little bit in certain spots especially at peak but if we look at four 174 2a 171 so these numbers up a little bit but pretty close to the same now several people i know are automatically getting ready and haven't even finished watching the video and like well, what it flow before 
So remember, this is the Sanyez bench. That's the one I use for all my research and development, really, because it takes too long to flow something on the Superflow. Superflow is really just to give more of a confirmation or to make me feel good about myself. But here's the initial numbers. These is from the AFR versus profiler head test. So this right column right here is the profiler 195. That was the AFR race version 190, sorry, street version 195. So here's the ported 190 profiler. Here's stock. So if you look at four, because people always say, well, did you only gain at peak lifts? What's it matter? Um, no, not necessarily. At four, 237 to a 246, gain of almost 10. At five, it's now a 281 from a 270, 268, 269. So quite a big gain there. Look at six, 274, now it's 305. A 306 almost. So you, it, you could tell it's pretty big gains. The gains go all the way up, just to give you an idea. The exhaust didn't see quite the near of the gain because I wasn't really trying to make it overly large because it's already pretty much where it needs to be. But four went from a 166 to a 171 and peaked from a 218 to a 237. So you can see it's dramatically better from where it was stock. However, this is... This port, the new port, is bigger than that old port. So, just something that should bring that up. This is the AFR race port 195. So, yeah, you could port the cheaper. Because remember, if you remember that video, if you haven't, you should go back and watch it. This head was about 600 bucks more than that head. You can port this head clearly to make it better than that head. Just saying. And by the way, I could have done small changes on this and probably gain just as much flow. I mean, not really, not as much flow, but I could have made small changes and probably beat this anyway. Just done the valve job and some minor blending, probably would have beat this, just saying. But I wanted to size it for the engine that's going on. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, look for some weird videos coming out later. I'm sure I'll do some more R&D on that LS head. I'm just a bit covered up and trying to get things out. So it is what it is right now. So just kind of Bear with me as I try to get content out. I'm trying to get work done. Guys, thanks for watching. And also, if you are um, Brian, thank you for the letter and uh, what was inside of it. I appreciate that. I have meant to write you back, but every time I do, it seems like I get a phone call and I get interrupted. But don't think I didn't think uh, highly of it. I, I really do appreciate that. That was very kind of you. You didn't have to do that, but I, I do appreciate it. I didn't want you to think I forgot about you, but... Um, it's not that I try to forget about you. It's just I keep forgetting because as soon as I want to write something, someone calls or something comes up. But anyway, you guys take care and I appreciate you.